Uh, Patrick Beverly. Let's get straight to it. If you didn't know, last night, Patrick Beverly got into it with uh, DeAndre and will basically truck that little nigga, man. You know, it really just shows how soft DeAndre Ayton is, bro. First off, DeAndre Ayton is the person who didn't even commit the foul on Austin Reeves. He was, it was really a foul. Devin Booker, you need to relax for your light skin, bro. Like, back up. You're not a tough light skin like me, you know, obviously. <clears throat> you got to relax, buddy. You're not like, this is, This really reminded me why I hate the Suns. That's why Pat Beverly, like, put that nigga in his place, bro. DeAndre Ayton deserved that. You see how when he got pushed, he didn't do nothing back, right? Like, bro, what do you get out of standing over Austin Reeves? Austin Reeves is a good guy. He's ever talking trash. Maybe Pat Bev, I understand. But, like, what did Austin Reeves do to you? And you're like, Aiden's not even good, too. Like, this nigga is so bad. Nigga can't even be the second best player on the team. It's sad, bro. It's disgusting. And it's like, Aiden, like, he's just such a bitch, bro. He's weak. And then, you know, you got Devin Booker saying, oh, Pat Bev need to start pushing people in the back. Nigga, shut up, Devin. Because if he pushed you in your chest... He's swinging on you. If you push it back, he's swinging on you. And you're going to catch a mean Chicago, Illinois right hook, nigga. And I don't think you want those problems, Devin. I got to be real. You know, Pat Beth has a little psycho negativity in it. You don't want those problems, buddy. We already know that. But um, basically, the Lakers were kind of defending him, too. So it's good. Like, the players. Obviously, you know, Russ is. Russ said, I love it. Personally, protecting and understanding we have each other's back is the most important thing as a team. Yes, sir, Russ. Let's get negative, man. This is going to be a nice little rivalry, you know, because Patrick Beverly already hates Chris Paul. So, like, now that he's hating more people on the team, I love it. This, this is great. When, the, when like, if LeBron was playing, I would have lost. It's facts. Let's be real. It's like, I just hope the Suns, like, lose again. See, like, y'all just reignited the fire, the flame inside of me. Blame yourselves. Blame yourselves. <sighs> they just swear they tough, bro. Like, oh, my goodness. Ah, that's tough. Stuff, tough, tough. But uh, last night, Ben Simmons made his return back to Philly. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> Those seats were kind of empty. I think it's maybe because Joel Embiid and Harden weren't playing. And I feel like the booze weren't that bad. I thought it was going to be way worse. You know, Ben did a good job of handling his, um, handling the booze and stuff like that. But Philly got to come harder than that, nigga. I thought, pause, pause, pause. I thought y'all were going to be screaming, you know, I don't want to say slurs, but you know, you know, I thought some shit, was, someone's going to get kicked out, throw a bottle, some shit, I don't know, some alcohol. But nothing really happened major, which is a good thing, but I, I thought it would be way louder. But other than that, I'm going to get you the next one.